What's up, guys? Got more SPL. Got Nintendo versus Genesis 7. Nice and Oris OU. Let me just call real quick. So, mm, they have pretty similar teams, kind of, yeah. They both have a Lando, they both have a Kelio, they both have a Metagross. Um, yeah, Mance is not picking up, let me. Let me hit X on Skype. If you're not picking X, I have to. If you're not picking up, I have to hit X, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to record with Zomok. But I don't want to ruin my video like that with the sound. So, Lottie versus Lottie in the lead. I would like assume Genesis would just go into his Clefable. Slash Metagross. Metagross, um, in case he predicts a potential Scarf Lottie with Trick. Because, like, Scarf Healing Wish is, like, decent to, like, ensure to get off a Healing Wish late game. To bring back, like, a potential... Kelly that got whittled down. Um, so Lanos is only Rocker on Nintendo side. Yeah, he made the cleft play. I mean, I thought Metagross was an option too, in case you predict, predict trick. Because there's there was no way um Genesis was staying in, so Nintendo could have tricked that predicting the cleft. I don't know why he withdrew the Metagross, cause he didn't have good switch ins to Metagross. Like, that was weird. But yeah, this should be rock, so he can just Ice Punch and blow this away. Um, I actually don't know if Ice Punch kills from fall. Like, what does Nintendo even have? Like, he has a Magnezone, but... Yeah, he, I would go to Magnezone here if I don't want to take an Ice Punch. And then I would probably, like, double back into this to scout for Earthquake slash Hammer Arm. And make him take helmet damage if it's helmet lander, which I assume it is. Yeah, makes that play. I mean, he might just ice punch again. Honestly, I would ice punch again. He put the double back into landers. Yeah. Someone interrupted me, so yeah. That was annoying. Oh, he goes for Zen, which is a mid ground play, I guess. In case he goes uh, back into Landris, not 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 too sure why he went for Zenhead, but don't don't get behind that play, honestly. So he has pursuit, which does absolutely nothing to the laddie. Um, yeah, people told me I should be more quiet, but my microphone is not picking up my my voice too too well. Let me just go a bit closer to my microphone, which would. Maybe the sound is a bit worse this way, but so I can speak a bit more quiet this way at least. Yeah, I don't know why he switched out. Like he obviously picked it the medium ash, but I guess it was a good prediction by Genesis. Going for pursuit again. So he is Megalati, so I don't know why I set the turn one potential trick. It's pretty obvious that he's Megalati, that's his only Mega. That's a sad white check. T with speed control. T with speed control for Magnezone for potential specs or AV Magnezone to outspeed things. Uh, so they have Metagross with Pursuit on both sides. So this is um, a regular Metagross, not a. Actually, yeah. Never mind, I take that back what I just said. It's not obvious that it's Mega Lady from Team Preview. I thought he was healing which regular Lady was with a Mega Metagross. Yeah, I take that back. Never mind. So, that's a 52. I don't know if that was banded or um, just max attack adamant pursuit. I think it's uh, just. It's just AV. But he has like. He has Magnezone too, but that's not the best Lari switch in, so I could see this being AV to have a nice switch in to Lari. like this takes off quick even well if Lari runs off quick to hit the zone. Like this takes it better. So he's not Rock's Clef, I would assume it's Command Clef. I mean, what do you switch in here? The Laddie will 
probably go for recover here. I mean, he dies to rocks, he's kind of forced to recover. He doesn't have hazard control, unless he's default Lally with T-Wave, which I don't think he is. Which is really weird, because... Dragonite gets, um... Is weak to rocks, and those is the multi-skill. So maybe he is default Lally. With only one attack then, which is a really, really odd set. Mm. So that I've punched it a lot, so... So actually, never mind, I get why he pursued it early, but in the switch out. So Nintendo is just fishing for a para here. I'm a bit annoyed, because I was just in my flow. I was just, like, speaking, and people interrupted me. Okay, this is interesting. He was fishing for the para, trying to get the hags. But he gets the hags, which is the freeze. I mean, he can he can still saw. I don't know why he predicted this specific turn. Going to Clef. Is just saying, like, I'm going for game. I'm going for Calmant. This could be the, the rare set, with, which, which is Calmant knockoff. Because he doesn't have another knockoff user, unless he's knockoff Stealth Rock Landers, which is not a, not a good set, in my opinion. Knockoff is... The only reason I mention this is because... It would have been a really good play to go for knockoff predicting the Magna Zone. Get rid of a potential choice backs. But just moon blasting to get off damage is nice too. Um, if he goes Magna Zone you would have like been able to see if he's a Soul Vest or Specs. Or like at least if he's a Soul Vest or not. Or if he's HP invested or something like that. I mean he just got off good damage on the Landers. Um yeah, Magnuson or Landris was the play there. I think Magnuson was a better play. Because they both cannot get T-Wave. T-Wave Clef is pretty common in Auras. He could be offensive uh, Rocks Landris. Which is why he doesn't want to stay in if he's like, more speed death on the Clef. I think he just U-turns. Oh, he doubles. Okay. So they both bring out Kelly, it's interesting. I mean... Yeah, Zamok, not Zamok, Genesis. I was like confused because I got PM'd and I thought it was from Zamok, but it was from someone else. Clefable just ate that up. Genesis obviously has a safe switch in Clefable, so... Nintendo didn't have a safe switch in because his lady is frozen and had 22%, so it's at 10% after rocks. I really hope you guys can hear my voice. I have to speak a bit lower. I might, ha might even have to speak more, like, even lower than this. Which is really, really annoying because I want to analyze this game. Um, Genesis 7 is in a really good position. I don't know if Nintendo tried to predict the double there. Oh, if he just decided... Yeah, I really don't understand. I really don't understand letting Teo Kalyu take that Moonblast. He must have predicted a double. Because, like, he could have just sacked his Latios instead. This is weird, dude. So this doesn't, doesn't get too good. He gets a crit, which... I don't know, actually, that crit didn't matter, right? I think the last pursuit, um... The last pursuit did like 50, so it crit didn't matter. Yeah, it did 52. <laughs> I really don't see how Nintendo can win, like... He has answers for the clef, it's not that, but... Scarfire Dragon is just gonna go in on him. I think it's Scarfire Dragon. Like, he needs some sort of speed control. He could also be Scarf killed you. I mean, we'll see if it's life or I hope it's not life or that would be a bad set too, because you get worn down way too fast. So pretty sure Nintendo is Scarf um, Keldia the way he brings this out. I mean, Nintendo has a win condition in his Metagross, obviously, but... 
Did he show Zen Headbutt or was that Genesis' meta grass? Like, depending on the coverage, if you can hit the Caldeo, I guess Nintendo has a chance to win with his meta grass. I mean, they're both. Of, it's not like they. Like, let, like Genesis can get rid of rocks. The only way to get rid of rocks is Defog, which gets rid of rocks on both sides. Did I say Mega Megagross? I don't know what was that Mega Megagross. <laughs> He's obviously a regular. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Just playing it safe, I guess he kinda has to. Uh, did you double switch? Please tell me you double switched into Hydreigon. Or oh, Thunderwave, that's also a good play. But I don't I don't understand why he went into this over at my inner zone. I I don't understand. He doesn't get an Intimidator off, which is why regular Metagross is a cool mod, honestly. It's just not used that much. I like AV Metagross a lot. I even like Ben Metagross. I don't, I didn't, I don't, like it's not a super good mod, but it's decent. It's like, usable. I assume this has Stone Edge, because in Auris, like Stone Edge, you don't know Earthquake. Some like HPS land was not that common in Aorus, like it's in Sun and Moon. It's so, like some people used it, but it's really not that common. But yeah, if it's HPS, it would be clutch. He just earthquake. Hmm. This this was this play was really obvious, but yeah, I can't understand why he's playing safe. Like both people are kind of playing safe both players. Like, Scarfight Dragon is just Genesis' big win condition in this game, in my opinion. If he's Scarf, and that's, it should be. He should be Scarf. And Nintendo is, I assume, Scarf Kelly, I said it earlier. And that cannot come into rocks off, and only two times. Hard Kelly on the explosion. Damn. Damn! Normal gem explosion. Uh, one one reason why he didn't go into Magnus Zone earlier on the Clefable. Maybe he predicted the potential flamethrower and AV Metagross takes that better. And he didn't wanna he didn't wanna um let the Magnus Zone get weakened for so Scarf Dragon sweeps if Magnuson gets weakened, is what I'm trying to say. But he has Bullet Punch on Metagross and E-Speed on T-Knight. So he has something. But yeah, this thing is a big threat to him if he's Scarf. Would you double here if you're Nintendo? The thing is you cannot really afford to double because you just used one rock switch and you only have one more rock switch in now. So like... I think it's pretty free to go Clef again here. I mean, yeah, he can double. He can double into Magros, yeah. Doubling into Magros is a good play. But you just lose your... Like, you only have one more rock switch and then... Like, honestly, I have, like... Decent knowledge about Oris, but it would be better if I would still play Oris myself. I haven't played Oris in forever. So he risks a Hydro Pump there. Hydro Pump is a, not a bad play because it does the most damage to Clef. Forces the Clef to heal, so gives him a free turn to switch his Kelly out. 
and like not have Clef go for potential flamethrower, which I don't think it's. I just think it's CM Clef. The standard set with Thunderwave and Calm and then Moonblast and Softbolt. I think it's that one. And yeah, Scarfadrain comes in now since he locked into Hydro Pump. Um, this is a this is a good play in the sense that Nintendo doesn't have switch into this. But it's not, maybe not the best play because you don't want to let this take rocks too too off because this is like the main win card. You don't want to get into bullet punch or plus E speed range. If you get into bullet punch plus E speed range, you can lose potentially to the magnet zone. Yeah, if you if you genesis. But yeah, this, I like this game besides the besides the hex. <laughs> I mean if any of them brought a medicham again, no switch ins. <laughs> like the only Genesis had some some way to play around because he had Landorus plus Clefable. Maybe our Samrock is on Sunday, he's ill. Yeah, okay, so he dodges out of him there was which is huge, which is huge. Cause he would have been in E speed potentially in E speed range if it's banded Dragon Knight. I don't know if he would have been in E speed range, but it, this miss is annoying for this miss is annoying for Nintendo. His laddie got frozen and now now he also missed the hydro pump. Hmm. Last miss Nintendi um, didn't play optimal with his guard war, but he also got crit to turn one, which was really really annoying. So this is bad. Like I don't like this trend. Like that the hex continues. Hard clef. So. It's leftovers denied, so it might be the, the sub DD fly set. That set is really cool. Yeah, it could be Iron Head. They're saying that in the chat for fun. I mean, I don't know. He doesn't have to be Iron Head because he has two steel types to destroy Clefail. Magnazon isn't isn't even the best Clefable counter though. If it's like Spadef Clef and it gets off a calm mind, if the Magnazon is like not specs, the Clef kinda walls it honestly. But you can still crit and Spadef drop fish. But yeah, Metagross is like a good answer. Yeah, even though it's not it's not always it's not a counter because you you get T waved and we all know how T wave works, right? Especially in Aurus when it's 100% accurate. So it just went down. But yeah, everything is just getting into range for Scarf Dark Pulse. You just go Lottie here if you're, if you're Genesis. Actually, hmm. do you need this? I think you need this for the, for the Dragon Knight. To switch in on E speed when you have out your high dragon later on in the game. I think you just go Lottie here. I mean, if he spags, that, that will blow the Lottie in the wind. Lefty says every um, Scarf High Dragon doesn't kill Metagross from 72. It will be at 66 after rocks. Oh, Abr said he's not sure if it's Scarf Rider or Scarf Lottie. So the sec, the cleft just got critted. <laughs> I mean, the Lottie would have died too. But yeah, if he's not Scarf Rider, if he's Scarf Lottie instead, 
not going hard lot he makes sense but yeah, he could be specs the way he's playing this because scarf wouldn't kill the magnuson from this range I don't know why so I was specs. In my mind, I just thought he wouldn't be Scarf Lari. So I assumed he was Scarf or Dragon. Even though like Scarf or Dragon is not that common. Yeah, but I said it's specs High Dragon wins. So if if I'm right with my assumption that it's Scarf, which I'm not even sure anymore, because yeah. If he if he was like Scarf, uh, yeah, I think I think that's Scarf damage, honestly. So I think Intendi wins besides the Hex, which is crazy. <laughs> scarf is so ass. Bana said that isn't Scarf. It's gotta be AV Manazon. Yeah, I'm really confused. I, I thought I saw Genesis had this game. So they're saying it's double the salt vest doing an ABR. I mean, someone said BP on non para wins. I mean, E speed also wins, right? But he might not have E speed. Yeah, he probably doesn't have E speed. Yeah, it's definitely. It doesn't have E speed. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Why did he go to the land for the Dragon Knight first? What? Does he not... What? Why did he make that... What? Did he just choke? I mean, he can he can still win, but... I don't think he can kill the laddie from... Seven, oh, he does kill, so Nintendo picks off the win. Nintendo picks off the win besides the Hex. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like my narration. I like my narration in this one. Besides, besides that, I was like so focused on the high dragon being scarfed, and that just Genesis wins with that. But yeah, it must have been like a salt vest, Magnezone, because since he crit the clef, I don't think he would have okoed the clef without the crit. If he didn't get that crit, we would have known if he was specs or not 100%. But yeah, I think it's confirmed from the Moonblast damage that cleft the two main zone that is AV. Banda said that. And. I mean, I should not like always believe everything the smoke to chat says, but I believe him. Um, I trust him in that. And it just makes sense to me that it's AV, because. The flash can crit like I don't think it would have killed the clef without that. And High Dragon's Dark Pulse also only did 56. And it was probably Specs High Dragon, so it just makes sense to me. Even though I said the entire time was gonna have a real life later on. So the Ladi wait, this is super weird. This is super weird. I'm so confused now. Because the Ladi wasn't scarf. So if the High Dragon wasn't scarf either, he had no scarf. Oh man, was he scarf killed? He got that error revealed. Because if he's not scarf killed, his team is way too slow. Like I'm so confused now. <laughs> like I thought he would be scarf lady or scarf a dragon. I I was like super sure it was a dragon, and then I wasn't sure anymore. Like he either doesn't have speed control. I guess it's TY from Clive, which is speed control. I mean, yeah. Now that I look, now that I look at it. Specs High Dragon plus T with Clef just makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I don't know how Nintendo pulled that out even though he got hacks. Like after the hacks in the beginning I just said Nintendo has this uh, 
like loses this. I just I was just saying uh do it with Genesis. But oh boy I was wrong. Um Let us look let us look at the score and everything. Which which team was the guy on? Uh, I think Nintendo is on the Tigers or the Falcons. I think he's on the Tigers. He is on the Tigers and Genesis on the Bigs. So the Tigers are up 3 1. They have Steve Angelo, the John dude, and Mazar the German dude, so I guess I have to root for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, maybe I should play a bit Aurus to like. Check off the rust because my analysis my analysis was not as on point as I'd like as as I'd like to. Thank you guys for watching. I will just have I will have a lot more SPL content coming. Just stay tuned for that. Peace out. I hope I don't get interrupted anymore. Good God, that was so annoying. It caught me off too. Peace, friends.